the Whiskey Duo Show, your favorite show, hosted by your favorite duo. Yeah, you did let it go. On today's episode, we're going to talk about some of your favorite things. I forgot what it was. Uh, passwords, Game of Thrones, and uh, Alexa. What about Game of Thrones? Actually, I've never watched Game of Thrones. Have you not? No, I am part of the 10% of America that has never seen that show. I actually own season one on DVD. Really? Yeah, I just bought it so I could sell it. I'll tell you, there's, there's people die, there's <clears throat> boobs, and then dragons. That's basically the show. Basically, it sounds like the perfect show. It is. It really it's like is. Titanic. Dragons, yeah. There's boobs, also a midget. And a mid- is there a midget in, in uh, Titanic? There should be. Oh, wait, we can't say that word, can we? Little people. Remember we had to say... Dwarf. Dwarf. Yeah. Dwarf's good. Dwarf? Dwarf. If you're a little person, a... Tell us what we should say. Or a midget, or a... I'm sorry. If you're a little person, a... Or a war... A dwarf? Dwarf. Dwarf? Tell us the politically right... Yeah, what what's the say? right thing we should call you? I hope somebody writes in on that. I, I was waiting so on an answer happy. right now. Chad, how are, how are you, Chad? I'm pretty good, how are you? Guess what I brought for this episode? Dice. Yeah, there's a bunch of dice in there. I brought a red it solo Sounds like cup. you finally got your balls out of Leo's purse. Finally. But they're, I mean, I like to keep them there. They're securely packed. They stay warm. It's Louis Vuitton. That's where I keep them. <laughs> yeah, right. As established in a previous episode, I spend all my money on... Hookers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leah. <laughs> right. Hold on, let me get my chair to squeak out. Squeak on in, brother. <sighs> okay, I'm comfortable. Are you comfortable, <laughs> no, Chad? So, so comfortable. Okay. We've got to get new chairs. we got to get we something. Could, we could probably figure out something we can make to where we could sit on the back chairs of my Somebody car. Somebody send us old chairs that you don't need anymore. That, that don't squeak. Like some computer chairs would be awesome. Hey, these chairs came from Mama June. Yeah, well, we need a better table, too. So anybody's got tables or chairs that we can use? The table was probably Mama June's at one point in time, also. We spent all our money on... Well, Josh spent all his money on mics and cameras. Yeah. Chad hasn't paid for Jack. I'm just here for the comedic effect and the lid looks. It's true. He brings both, except for one of the two. Yeah, I'll let you decide. It's actually neat. Oh, sorry. Do it again. Son of a bitch. Ah, dang it. I missed it. <laughs> wow, I blew up the microphone just now. Sorry. Ah. I don't know why that happened. Ah, Chad, how are you, man? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to another episode. Welcome back to the dungeon. I mean, the, the dungeon. Uh, what do we call this area? The studio. The duo dungeon. The room used that used to be Buffalo Dan's bedroom. Just think, were you The laid- Buffalo Den. Were you, the Buffalo Den. Why did we never think of that in the past? No, now it is. Oh, where your head, or where you're sitting, <laughs> where you're sitting is where the head of the great Buffalo Dan used to stay. Really? Yeah, his bed was like right here. I thought it was in that room. It was at one point. And then I was like, this room's bigger. Maybe we should move him in here. I was able to charge him $25 more for rent. Because of a bigger room? That's... Yeah. When you look close to Buncombe County, you can get whatever you want. Next week... Talk about Buffalo Dan getting screwed over by his friends on rent. <laughs> he only... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got a steal. He got one He probably stole a, a bunch deal. of stuff. I mean, I stole stuff from I him. I wish you would have. Thanks for this glass, Buffalo Dan, that you don't know. That brings That'll us... That'll be here when you ever come on the episode like you promised us. I might give it back, but I doubt it. Speaking of whiskey glass, it's time for the Whiskey of the Week. Oh, yeah. Let's fire up those engines, ladies and gentlemen. Let's turn, let's turn that car off. Chad, I've got, throw anything. I've got a special treat for you. Go for it. You already know about it because I showed it to you when I got it out of the cabinet. You but, putting that out on the podcast? Not now. Oh. Um, I got a special treat for you, Chad. <laughs> Dwarf's 12-year. White label. Ooh. Mm. It's got a cork and everything. That's how, you, that's how wait, I judge. If it's got a cork, it's good. Ah, that was very satisfying, that was, actually. That was very nice. Today we are drinking Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey. Is that how you say it, Dewar's? I, that's how I say it. I've always said Dewar's. I don't know. It may be Dewar's. <laughs> I've always said I'll Dewar's. I'll ask all our listeners, hey, Nathan, look this up for us. <laughs> <laughs> how to... Nathan, how do you say it? Are you an alcohol expert, Nathan? We should bring Nathan on here just randomly one day. He would probably love that. We could do a uh, episode down Dedicated at the... Dedicated just to Nathan. Sorry. <laughs> we could do an episode down at the Bearwaters Brewery. He could meet us and we could do one there. 
We'll call it Beers Beer. on Nathan. That's Beer. what we're <laughs> Beers on Nathan. It's called We Get Drunk Nathan. That's to drive us home. We get walk. It's that close. Anyway, today we are drinking Stumble. either Dewar's or Dewar's. Uh, we'll let Nathan decide. He's running upstairs. Here's the bottle. Focus. Focus. That's so weird. It focuses when you tell it to. We are drinking. We have a mutual respect. Either Dewar's or Dewar's. Uh, it's, it's blended scotch. scotch whiskey, aged 12 years. The ancestor, 12, or the ancestor, true scotch. Married in Oak Cast. Product of Scotland. I believe, I believe that's where you hail from. Uh, half, some. Scotch Irish, so. I would just said that to make him mad. Did it work? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I've actually do got Scottish in me, so it's okay. This one, uh, gold prize for 500 medals. Somebody's running upstairs. That's me. Sorry. Aged and hand selected reserve cast for 12 years. This Reading's whiskey hard. has long been admired as the ancestor. Selected oak gas. This have you ever had this? No. Okay, so you've had the white label. I've had the white. Sorry, label. I hit my microphone. I made it through the whole last episode without hitting your microphone. Now I'm hitting it. The white label is good. This stuff's even better. Cause it's twelve years old. That's More than that, both I've, of your I've, kids put together. I've had this bottle for over a year now. So it's thirteen year old. Almost and it poured, might have sat on the shelf for ooh, a year. So almost poured mine first. That's bad luck. That bottle is literally a teenager. Let me tell you something. I I was watching. Another podcast recently. You and son of a... Sorry. They uh, they had... Oh, what was it? Actual yeah. listeners. Yeah, they had listeners. Like hundreds of thousands. Um, oh, wow. Well. It's the Gus and Eddie show. If you get a chance, check them out. It's hilarious. I think they could throw us one or two, but... Yeah, no. right? No. Oh, um, they had like... I can't remember what the brand was, but it was a $125 bottle of scotch. We'll get there one day. And they drove me crazy because they poured their own glasses. People, look at me. Are you looking at if you're if you're watching? You Listen don't have to, to me. You don't have to look or at me. Him, Chad. Not me. Camera people, people in YouTube world. The YouTube um, universe. If you're not list, if you're not watching and you're listening, just pretend. Look, unless you're driving, look at your radio. Just uh, listen to them. Just close your eyes and pretend you see me. If you don't know what it'll look like, uh, imagine Brad Pitt, uh, about two hundred pounds heavier. With a very nice beard. Right. Okay. He had sex with a Sasquatch. That's a perfect description, actually. Um, never. And he got most of his looks from the Sasquatch. It, unless you were drinking by Brad yourself. Brad Pitt probably is a stepfather and like adopted him because there ain't no Brad Pitt. Would you like to just punch More me? Or like in... John Goodwin had sex with a Sasquatch. Do you want to just punch me in the face while we're at it here, Chad? Oh, Go ahead. Anything. If Mike Tyson punched him in the face. Punched Sasquatch in the face. Then he had the baby with John Goodman. That's, that's Josh. Would Mike Tyson be punching Sasquatch or Sasquatch? <laughs> punched him in the face. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, unless you are drinking by yourself, never pour Drink your own glass. If you are the person holding the glass, you pour for them first, then pour for you. That's my glass. Yeah. I'm sorry. That rant is over. I am done. And if you're drinking by yourself, you're my kind of people. Because you're an alcoholic. Thank Today you, we're drinking these on the rocks. I'm fine with that. Because this is our third glass. Fourth glass. I, don't know. I like how we get the most expensive oldest bottle and then start putting ice in it. So that shouldn't probably be in a... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to finish How's it your up. day going to be? I'm going to have a good night. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm sleeping in. Oh, you got a glass. <laughs> what was that? I got too much. That's what it was. Well, Sasquatch will be coming uh, out in a minute. Man. Oh, I love when whiskey or scotch smells like pipe tobacco. Very nice. Hey. <sighs> oh, oh, sorry. I got to turn on the... So it's not silent love this while we're doing this. Oh. Hey, oh. Oh, man. That is smooth. Is that an expensive bottle? Uh, I think that bottle was like $72, $75. And that was a year ago, so it's probably like $80 now. So that's safe to say that's the most expensive bottle we've drank so far. That's the most expensive I've ever bought, for sure. Uh, I think the most expensive I've bought is like the $30, $40 dollar range of the Glenlivet. Mm-hmm. That, uh, how much did you say that Elijah Craig was, like 30 It was in the $25, $35 range, but it said online. But So that is like... A third, we, the we price of this. We bring Nathan on here, and, and then we'll ask him in person, so he has to say it. That was like 
if it's twenty five, that's like a third of the price of this. I would say yeah. that Lyle love it or <laughs> that Elijah. <laughs> Isn't that a country music singer that was married to Julia Roberts? <laughs> that's a, if I ever come up with a whiskey, I'm calling it the Lyle Love It. The Lyle Love It. Dan Aykroyd's got tequila. Why can't we have one called Lyle Love It? Lyle Love It. <laughs> one. People will just Lyle Love It. <laughs> your, your main bottle is called Lyle Love It, and then you have like a smaller one that's not as strong, and <laughs> like, it's called The Pretty Lady. Him, who Lyle Love It. He looks like Bugs Bunny. He like, is he, the ugliest man ever in country music. But Oh, his voice. His face don't belong on a scotch bottle. It belongs like on a, a bush ice can. Like, <laughs> he, well, drink me I'll beat your wife and buy a trailer I don't he, know he belongs in NASCAR is what Chad's getting at there's no pretty people in NASCAR I really don't know I haven't watched NASCAR in forever I have anyway I would say that Elijah Craig is a close second to this stuff this stuff is amazing it is pretty good <sighs> the best scotch or whiskey I've ever had it's gotta be that Johnny Walker I don't think I've ever had Johnny Walker red label I think it's a red label it's really expensive. I know your favorite beer is Red Stripe. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that brought up horrible memories. Back in our partying days when we were young and dumb. I'd rather be Lyle Love it than oh, get again. Chad threw Red Stripe up all over the side. Was it Jared's truck? <laughs> Jared's dad's truck. <laughs> <laughs> Who was driving? Jeff. Okay, at least it wasn't Jared's dad. No, yeah. no, it was Jeffrey. That used to be like, until that day, that was the one beer I, I drank. To be fair... The red strap was mixed with a fifth of vodka. <laughs> what would you call that? That was the tiki juice we made. Remember? I thought... We'd all get a two-liter bottle of Mountain Dew, uh-huh. put Kool-Aid in it, and then we'd put a, like a pint of vodka in each one and you then take, kill it. You take a two-liter, you pour it out down a little below the label, yeah, right? almost a pint will fit in there. And then you pour the alcohol in, and then you put Kool-Aid oh. in, and you close it really fast. Because w- when you pour the Kool-Aid in, it would always try to pop. You'd wake up and your hands would be red and your head would be hurting. And you, your hands would be red. That was. I had horrible hangovers when I was like 18 when we were doing it. I'd hate to do it now in the 30s. Do you remember when... Um, probably when I'm borderline diabetic. Probably. No, it's because I'm fat, let's be honest. Ah, okay. Do you remember when you and I and... Um, probably not if we were drinking. Jared and Hudson, we all went camping up in Black Balsam. And we each had... a. Th- Thing of tiki. Yeah. And I finished mine and I threw it on the fire and it went. <laughs> it's that there. For, yeah. Alcohol explodes. Who knew? Oh. Let's move on with the show. It's time for the dummy of the week. The dummy of the week. Are you that dummy? Don't you just hate it when you don't get what you paid for? Yeah. Seriously, I do. Yeah. Suzanne Basham, you have like the hardest name to say for me. Was none too pleased to discover the crack cocaine she bought was actually plain old sugar. No! The Springfield, Missouri woman was not about to be ripped off and allegedly called the police to report her dilla. <laughs> On January 10th, is that tomorrow? Yep. The future. On January 10th, Basham called the cops to report her dilla for the theft. Telling them she paid $40 for crack cocaine and was given sugar instead. <laughs> Basham asked cops to arrest her dealer for theft and also asked them to secure her and secure a refund for her. Officers went to the address where Basham claimed she had purchased the crack and the residents denied selling drugs and refused to allow officers in her home. Of course, it was Basham herself who ended up in hot water. Officers arrested her for possession of drug paraphernalia and they discovered a crack pipe. Or a sugar shifter. Anybody knows. So, the lady... She wanted crack. And they gave her sugar. So she told the cops she wants her money back. And her crack. (laughs) And then she got busted for possession... Of a crack pipe and drugs. Like, okay, here's your drugs and money back, and you're arrested. What's the difference in a crack pipe and a, like, a tobacco pipe? Crack pipes are glass. Oh. And normally a spoon. Mm-mm. No, I don't. No, I've no, never that's, done that's crack. Heroin. I've never done crack. That's never heroin. done heroin. I've. That's for another episode. We'll talk yeah. about that later. That was a good one, Chad. Uh, well, thank folks, you because you found it. Next week, after you your the research. The that's the week. The dummy of the week. Are you that dummy? We'll make Aaron do it. Aaron, 
Listen to this. Find me a bunch of stuff. Who? Oh, Aaron. Yeah. He don't do nothing. Yeah, you don't work. I mean, he does. You just but... talk to Josh all day. Don't lie. You find me things. We've got a brand new section mm-hmm. of the podcast mm-hmm. that we're wanting to call Hey Alexa. Hey. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm all right. That's good. You're looking nice today, Alexa. Thanks. That's not what the, the section is, but Chad had Chad is full of comedic gold. If you don't follow Chad on Twitter, don't you should. Me. Go find Chad. What is it, Chad? Chad Shelton NC. NC. He puts his full name on there. I'm going to start putting Twitter stuff on there because people are going to look at this next week yes. and I'm going to completely look, forget. Seriously, follow Chad on Twitter because there is comedic gold on there. He talks about ice cream makers and... Um, Don't be allowed. offended easily if you come to my Twitter. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I unfollowed him twice, but I came back. I'm the type of person that if this ever becomes famous, I will be in hot water. <laughs> I will be issuing an apology now. I'm sorry, everybody, that I offended. I'm saying this now for in 10 years that I'm going to need to bring that up. I'm sorry for the things Chad said. My publicist will love it. Your publicist? Do we have publicists? Well, Leah's my publicist. I, think I just ain't even asked her yet. <laughs> anyway, our uh, our idea was to was to talk about, because like, uh, currently... <laughs> Come you, on, you can do this, buddy. I believe I got, you. I can spit this <laughs> on. Wait, hold on. I know what's wrong. Just blow bubbles in it. <laughs> Down a shelf a little while. <laughs> really eat something. Yeah. Um, so like currently, it's it's all the rage. All the kids are talking about it. It's what they say, light or lit. It may be lit. Light. I'm not really sure. <laughs> that what is light, is. fellas. Kid, like in the eighties, everything was heavy. Now it's all light. It's lit. Is it lit? It's lit. Oh, it's lit. Um, Old people. Am I right? Right. Uh, apparently, it's. Lit, as they say these days, that you could change the voice of Siri and Alexa. Mine is currently a British person. Is it really? A British man, yes. I like to make it tell me things. It says, good morning. Mine is Lyle Lovett. Yours is Lyle Lovett? I wish. Oh. I wish it was Jim Neighbors to sing to me. Well, golly. What what if you could turn it into Lyle Lovett and then like in the morning it's like. Like physically? Good. No, like make it say Uh, stuff. That would be scary to wake up in the middle of the night just Lyle Lovett sitting on your couch like, hey. In the morning, it wakes you up. It says, good morning. It's a beautiful day to make love to Julia Roberts. Oh. Every day is a beautiful day to make love to Julia Roberts. That's a good point. Awkward. <laughs> um, but you can change the voice of Siri. Mine is a British man. There's one out right now, actually. That is Samuel L. Jackson. I would love. What does that one do for you? Everybody wants to wake up to that in the morning. To what? Like, wake up. Tired of these bills in this house. Well, you're just going to make me work that sensor, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, moving on with the show. <laughs> Chad, last week we played a game. We did. It was, it was uh, fun. fun. I, and I think maybe we should just do that every week. Might as well. I mean, the reactions that that you, the viewers, you, the viewers, and you, the viewers. You, the viewers. Me, the viewer. Everybody's a viewing. Are you just dancing with yourself in your camera? Well, I like doing it. it I like does. making that little box that tries to find my face. I seriously have 15 minutes of footage of him doing this. 15 minutes. That'll be a bonus, too. Just me doing this. That's all it is. <laughs> and if, if you're a, a listener and not a viewer, he's dancing with the face box on the screen. Face box, not Facebook. All right, go ahead. Anyway, okay. the, the listeners loved the game we played. Last week, we played the Best Friends game. This week, we're going to play a little game called Password. We couldn't find Best Friends, so we just used each other. <laughs> Aww. Where's the oh? Aww. We're gonna play a game from the seventies called Password. Who's in your mouth? What? <laughs> password. We're gonna play Password. I don't know what game Chad is playing, but we're playing Password. Uh, the point of Password is. Um, one of us will have a keyword uh, that we have to describe without saying the word, and then the other person has to guess. Password. Um, was that it? That was not it. We each get 30 seconds each turn to get as many as we can. Um, I guess we have to keep track of our own of each other's scores. Do you need a piece of paper? Yeah, give me a piece. You have a notebook oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> Duh. Uh, so we'll do two rounds we'll say, and the winner will get to keep this wonderful prize. If it'll focus. Focus. 
There we go. Yeah, I think it focused. This is Story Dirty Old girl. Men <laughs> Need Love Too. Chad? Hey. Don't paper, worry. rock, scissors for who goes first? Let's do this. Okay, ready? So we're playing. We on three or three is it, go? Is it paper, rock, scissors, shoot Let's or do paper, that. rock, scissors? Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Okay. Now, is it paper, <laughs> rock, scissors, <laughs> lizard, Spock? Nope, regular OG. So paper, rock, scissors, shoot. bomb, cockroach. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> paper, rock, scissors, yes. Would it be quicker? Okay, ready? Yeah. Paper, I, I'll just go first. Okay, okay are you ready? Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, please, chat. All right, let me get it up. Am I guessing? Yes, I'll oh, read these words to you first. Horrible. Okay, 30 ready? seconds on the clock. Ready, and go. go. Uh, this is an animal. It's like a dog, but not really. Your father. <laughs> it has whiskers. Father. Okay. Uh, it can also be, also be used as a euphemism for a female pro- reproductive part. Ooh, frog. Um, this this is uh, the... Um, Dingo. Uh, what's new? Hyena. Uh, cat. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes these live in your house because someone died there. Heroin addicts. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I got one. Okay, one point for Chad. <laughs> the music wasn't working that time, though. Doesn't matter. I had fun with it. Not really sure Chad gets the point of this game. Are we ready? Yep. Starting the music. Here we go. 30 seconds on the clock starting now. He was a president. What? He was a president. Was or is? Was. Trump. <laughs> Top hat. Huh? Top hat. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Pinky and the... What? Pinky and the... It's Rizzo. in your head. You don't have one. Brain. Yeah, that's it. It's a band. Also something you do to your wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a band, and it's also something you do to your wife. Uh, Nirvana. <laughs> Love making. That's it. That, that's it. it, was, it was, I got one. It was. It was. You got two. Did I get two? You got three. It was kiss, by the way. <laughs> what? Ah, you kiss her. And I it's guess. a band. I think we may need to do more than two rounds. This is going. Oh yeah, we'll go like three rounds. Okay, so I got two on that round. You got thirty seconds <coughs> up on your clock. Yeah. What did you look up? Those were better than mine. Uh, I don't know. Better things, I guess. Did you did you search better words than what Josh brought? That's basically what I put in. Okay. All right, you ready? All right, 30 seconds around the clock. You ready? Yep. Sorry, I mean, this is round two. Currently, the score is Chad has one. I'm in the lead with two. That's one more than what Chad has. Yeah. Just like to say, I'm winning. 30 seconds on the clock, and go. Uh, uh, spiders. Oh, I can't say that. Never mind. That's the <laughs> You're screwing me up here. Uh, not a square, but a triangle. <laughs> With less sides. Pentagon. Uh, it's like a circle. Hexagon. But, a circle but Octagon. flat. Octagon. A circle but flat. Oh, circle? Yes. Square. <laughs> Skip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this comes out of chicken's butts. Poop. Um, you eat this Poop. out of a chicken's butt. <laughs> Turkey. Oh my God. Are you this bad at this game? Oh no, I'm just screwing around. <laughs> I'm completely honest with you. Okay, you got none on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say now. Next round, I'm going to kill you. Watch this. All right. Are you ready for the next round? Yeah. Should we make this a little... Maybe do 45 seconds this round? What do you think? No, go 30. 30 still? Okay. Yeah. Next round, we'll go 45. All right, music is starting. This is round two. Still, Chad is yeah. losing by one point. Here we go. And go. Opposite the puppy. Kitten. Yeah. You play on it. Kids play on it. Playground. Yeah. You soak in it. Hmm? You soak in it soda. after a long day. Uh, a bath. A bath. A bath. Oh, God. Salt bath. Uh, hot tub. No. Uh, you can blow them. Bubble bath. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it was on your belt. Boobies. <laughs> buckle. I'm an Adrix. Belt buckle. Yeah, yeah buckle. Put it on your lips. Ladies do. Lip gloss. Uh, Chapstick. Oh, uh, time to go. Doesn't matter. Lipstick. Oh, it's six to one. I might actually try on this one now. Okay. We're in now in round uh, round three. Final round. Chad we're going is... 45, we're going to stick with 30. Huh? 45, we're going to stick with this 30. This round will go 45 seconds. Or should we go 15 seconds and they're worth double points? Ooh. We're going... 
We're going 30 seconds and they're worth double points. So this is round three. Round three. Both cameras. We're going 30 seconds. Uh, double points. Give. I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm giving Chad a chance to come back. It's currently six to one. You got the timer set? Yep. Music is going 30 seconds on the clock and start now. You read these. Books. Uh, the opposite of dark. Light. Sometimes you find a worm in one of these. Buttle. Okay. Dirt? No. Um, you give this to your teacher. Apples. Uh, you have this on your head. Hair? You have this? No. Uh, you wear it on your head. Hat. You wear this on your foot. Shoes. Uh, I don't give up. But it's a bird. Oh. <laughs> bird. <laughs> They're at the lake. Uh, they quack. Oh. Uh, duck? It was duck. I don't uh, give a duck. I don't give a duck. That's a d- close enough, I <laughs> Do you know how many you just got? Oh, no. Like four three or, or four? I think it was four. I'll give you four. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, close game is now nine to six. Is it? Yeah, we're going into... Uh, I guess it just depends what happens on this round. Yeah. This could be a close game, folks. Chad? Uh, are you ready? I just find like, the hardest words ever. <laughs> I wouldn't put that beyond you. Hold on, let me drink whiskey. I'll make it easier for you. Oh, Duars, you make a good whiskey, and I am your gentleman. I will take you down to London town. (laughs) The bad man, Chad. (laughs) The bad man kicks back. I think I can say when it starts. Back. What was the treaty that made the Louisiana Purchase happen? Uh, <laughs> are you really doing stuff like that? I thought oh, about it. Was it the Louisiana Purchase? Yep. Uh, the War of 1812. Okay, here we go. One more sip. I didn't get it. Come on, man. Music has started. There's 30 seconds on the clock. This is the last round unless we tie. Go for it's it. currently... Ooh. Nine to six. Yeah, get it going. So you need to give me hard ones so you win. All right. If I get three, if I get two answers correct, I can win. All right. Here we go. Go. Opposite of big van. Do what? The opposite of a big van. Of a big van? Minivan. Hey, that's right. You're very good at this game. You're stalling I'm now. I'm not stalling at all. <laughs> uh, something you type on. Can, keyboard. No. Nope. Typewriter. No. Nope. Pa- paper. No. Nope. Word. Uh, Word processor. Uh, um, something you t- I need another clue. Oh. It's got websites on it. Internet. No. Computer. Yep. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. I win! <laughs> right? Did I win? Yep. Yeah. Woo! So that was... How many did I get? One? I got two? So one? Stop! Stop! What a game. What a game, What a Ted. thrill! Nine to ten. I won. You did no you lost. No. I'll go bonus round. No. Let's go bonus no. round. This is for winner take all. The winner of the next round gets to keep this little horny guy on his side of the table. Okay, we're going to pause first. You know he's wearing a trench coat, so he's probably naked under there. Why, have you gotta go pee or something? Yeah. I drank him two cups of coffee. And got two more whiskeys. You can talk by yourself for an hour. Ah shot. <laughs> I can't believe you left me. He's now out of the room. So I'll take this moment to talk about our sponsors on the show. We don't have any. None. At all. But that's okay. If you'd like to sponsor the show, well, you can. It's a simple little form you fill out. Call an email. Just shoot us an email. at uh, We kept the same email, so it's still whiskey and whiskers, uh, podcast at gmail.com. Just, just send an email. And then uh, maybe you can become a sponsor of the show. Uh, it could be anything from $5 a month to or a week to or an episode to uh, maybe, you're, maybe you've got a lot of money you just want to throw around. Send us, you know, a couple thousand. Um, a week you know we're, we're both got families that we got to support so uh yeah you could be a sponsor and we'll put your name on this wall we're down here through the whole show or 
maybe, maybe on that wall. Anywhere. Okay. He must have really needed to pee because he's still going. So this has been fun. Thanks for uh, sponsor us. Thanks for joining the sponsor us. Th thanks for joining the sponsor us corner. And now Chad's back from. He didn't. He didn't shake enough. He's got a wet spot. So yeah, it does. That was a nice butt shot. Uh, thanks for joining me in the sponsor us corner. If you'd like sponsors, send that email link down below. We get sponsored? Huh? We get sponsored? No, but I used that time to to talk about people that if they want to sponsor us. All We're right. Poor. I've already done it. I just oh. did a minute and some about sponsoring while you peed. How was your stream? Eh. Disappointing? Eh. Mm. So, um, the score is 9 to 10. Should we end it there, or do you want to go bonus round? Are you competitive, I'm Chad? fine. I'm not. You don't want the I'm one, not competitive at all. You don't want the dirty little man on your side of the table. No, not I'm only already the dirtiest he, of little man of over here. Not only is he dirty-minded, but he's also... Dirty, dirty. Okay, fine. We'll call it right there, folks. I have one. I would like to thank. <laughs> that was the wrong effect there. I'd like to thank the little people um, for supporting me through this time. You're welcome. We worked really hard to uh, get to where I am today. This, this, uh, that falls on me. Uh, I'm very thankful. I'd like to thank my mother, uh, my father. Pentecostal friends uh, and, 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 and priest Reverend Johnson. If it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be. And uh, um, I also like to thank Roscoe's Chicken Palace. And don't play me off, I'm not done. And uh, yes, I was done. So, yeah, thank you so much. This thing is called, this cheap crap is falling apart. What is this award? Is this crap from the Dollar Tree? Enough sound effects. Hit, hit that one. There we go. That's the end of today's show. Guys. Hey, hit the right one. That was a pretty good show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't care. Let's do it anyway. Chad, no. this is probably the last one we'll do tonight because we both your hands are freezing and wet. That's the end of Whiskey and Whiskers. Oh, no, wrong show. That's the end of the Whiskey Duo show, guys. Make sure you tune in next week for... Uh, for more Whiskey and more okay, Duo. So, so, hold on, let me... Sorry, this is awkward. I wasn't done. I didn't finish the, the conclusion. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. Continue. The Whiskey Duo Show is brought to you by the following sponsors. We don't have none. If you would like to be a sponsor, it could be you. It could be you indeed. Just send an email down there to the Whiskey and Whiskers Podcast Show. There's a link somewhere. Make sure you tune in next week when we talk all about how to make sure you get that cat out of the blender. <laughs> Awkward. Are we still here? I guess we'll just stay here till next week. Waiting on those sponsors. Anytime. Put Twilight Zone chucks out a chair here. Anymore. Hey, hey.